Hi, it's Don Sanders. I'm sorry we had a little technical glitch there with my go to meeting, but I think I've got the screen up now and we'll get going. And I want to apologize for that happening. I just, it just locked up on me and I didn't know what to do, but I think I've got it figured out now. I'm Don Sanders and I want to thank you for turning out today for the webinar, How to Sell Promotional Products. I know that's a big statement to make about selling promotional products, but I've been doing it for a very long time and I'm not the one that's going to be telling you how to do this. The other large distributors in the industry who do exactly what I do are the ones that are going to be also telling you to do this because I do exactly what they do to sell. We need to thank the suppliers who sponsor these webinars. They're on the screen right now. I'm not going to go through the litany of all their names, but every one of those suppliers is one that I would vouch for, one that I've used, and ones that will never let you down. So with that said, let's get started finally. First thing we need to do is let's take some notes. I've got some very good offers that I'm going to show you, some ideas that I hope that you'll take away from the webinar. So if you've got a pen and paper, please get it out because I've got some valuable email addresses and some information that I think that will help you going forward. And if you'll notice throughout the webinar, I've got some great coupon offers and there are two on the screen right now, one for a cool swipe from Cloth Promotions and another coupon from AdMatch, which is just a great supplier as GMG pen. I started selling GMG pens nine or 10 years ago when they came in the industry and I just never stop. Now, a little bit about me. I've been in the promotional products business for a very long time, more than 35 years. I started selling when nobody would give me a job and I never looked back. It just turned out well for me because I did the things that other big distributors did. The 15% of people in the industry who make really big money, they do this right. I've tried to do it like that myself. I am still a distributor. I don't sell the amount of promotional products that I used to for 96 months in a row, back from 19, let's say 94, uh, maybe to 2001 or two, my ex-wife, myself, a full-time assistant, and three students from SMU sold $100,000 a month. I did this the right way. I did it to make money. I live by the rules and because of that, I've been successful. I also own a sales training website, sellpromoproducts.com that many of you know me from. I've been a speaker at many industry sh shows. I am still a distributor. I spend most of my time now running my website and doing these webinars. There are my cards on the screen, my Don Sanders marketing and my sellpromoproducts.com. And there is my photograph on the screen or was. Now, the things you've got to remember is big time sellers operate by rules and they are proficient at certain things. You've got to be unique. You cannot do this if you're not unique. Saying you're the cheapest around or you offer a bunch of products, that's not going to sell you very much. You've got to use direct mail effectively. You've got to sell annuity programs. Those are products that people buy frequently. That's going to be bottled water, name badges would be a couple, pens. There are several other products that can be sold on annuity pro programs. Networking, you've got to be a good networker. I'm not talking about going to an event and just chatting somebody about religion or politics or what's going on with your children. I'm talking about finding out if they're a buyer and proceeding from there. You've got to understand your products. That means you've got to know what you're talking about. A lot of distributors lose orders because they don't understand product differences. And when somebody's cheaper, they say, well, I just, you know, I don't know what to do. And they cut their price. But if you understand the difference in bottled water, I'm going to talk about that in length in a little while. I'm going to use bottled water and also power banks is two product lines that are so misunderstood that distributors lose business on them all the time because they don't know there are differences. You've got to be good at social media. That's an obvious. You've got to create referrals. They've got to be 25% of your business. And you've got to qualify prospects. That means you don't work on orders or you don't work on prospects till you have the facts. And I know that many distributors don't do that. Now, Burlicamp is one of the sponsors of this website. There's a free money coupon from them. Ken Burlicamp owns that company. They are an up and up supplier and I would vouch for them anytime. Now, our goal is to look for awesome clients. 
The big failing with a lot of distributors is they sell inferior clients. I don't sell inferior clients. I go away from people who don't give me the chance to do what I do best, and that is try and make money. So always look for awesome clients, avoid inferior clients. I know too many distributors that deal with substandard clients and get beaten up on price, they lose orders, and they get frustrated. And there's a nice order for 3M. I've sold 3M post-it notes since 1984. That was the first year they came into the industry. And I sold them to Fort Worth Mortgage when I got started. And Fort Worth Mortgage ended up having 34 offices. And I did those post-it notes for every one of those offices. And that's a great self-promo order offer right there on printed post-it notes. I never look for customers who... And I told you that not look for inferior customers. Don't look for customers who shop you around. Somebody starts saying, well, I'm going to get prices. You know, what's your best price? I just say I can't help you. I don't deal with people that slow pay invoices. You pay me on time. I did the work for you. I expect you to pay me on time. I don't deal with people that ignore calls, emails, and text. Because if they do that, I can't make a sale. And all they do is frustrate me. They'll frustrate you. And if they're that way up front, they're not going to get any better down the road. And I don't deal with people who beat me down on price. The price is the price. And I can get my price because I give them what they need. I'm looking for those awesome clients. They won't beat you down on price. And I don't like vague or difficult people. Just tell me what the deal is. You want to buy the caps? Send me the artwork. Don't tell me that you're working on it. Don't tell me you're thinking about it. Avoid customers who are those five ways. In other words, avoid difficult prospects. There's a free setup charge from Pepco. That's a great supplier down in Wharton, which is down near Houston, and Pepco is the sports promotion leader. Now, you must be unique. I'm not talking about being unique by selling on price. You've got to have a brand. I have branded myself several different ways since I've been in the industry. I've changed my brand maybe eight or nine times. I wear colorful shoes. If people have seen me at shows, they will see that I wear the most different show, shoes than anybody they'll see at a trade show. I started wearing these when I bought a pair at an art fair. I was a speaker at ASI shows, and I wanted to kind of spice up my routine. So I would wear very nice khaki pants, a white Brooks Brothers shirt, very expensive Hermes tie, a nice belt, and I had these shoes on. And I have 13 of these different pair of these shoes. I wear them everywhere I go. And though it might seem strange, it gets me more business than anything you can ever think of. Again, there's how I brand myself with my Don Sanders marketing card at the bottom. What does your marketing say about you? I'm telling you that I wear those shoes. I am gonna be different at marketing. And there's my sale, promoproducts.com card for my website. Same pitch. Shoes are my thing. Now, I sell by shoes, and I don't sell by price, like distributors who are always saying the wrong thing. If you're a distributor who says, check us out for great prices, all your promotional products needs, thousands of products offered, we beat any price, never a rush charge, Lowest prices around. Call us today for quotes. If these things are on your card, you're not going to be a big time seller. I'm not being harsh about that. I am looking and you should be looking for people that will buy from you, pay you, and pay the price that you deserve. It's a self-esteem issue. Don't let people make you feel bad about yourself by having to acquiesce on price. Know what you're doing. Stand up for what's right and you'll be able to sell on your abilities and not by price. And there's a great coupon for Aura Labs down there. It's the bottom 10% off there in Colorado. That's American-made lip balm and healthcare products, and their products do not have toxic ingredients in them like a lot of these import healthcare suppliers, and they are there. Now, what is your marketing moniker? These are all names of people that I've gotten emails from, from my website. Look at the different names there. There's the Swag Swami, the Garment Genie. You're seeing those on the screen. 
get it done Dave. There he is with that smiling wink. And there is the princes of possibilities there at the right. How cute is this? This gets my attention. That title makes you different than so-and-so. Uh, I sell advertising specialties. I'm the cheapest around. I want to deal with somebody. I want to deal with the chief creative guy, the creatologist. Make yourself unique. Think about it and brand yourself where people will know you when they see you. Now, demonstrate your brand all the time. The way I do this is I do not have paper cards. I use products with my logo on it. Those cool swipes are those little phone, uh, phone cleaners that stick on the back of phones. Cloth Promotions has those. I'm going to talk to you about their lens cleaning cloths, which I've used for business cards forever. This is a brand new little thing I'm using for them. When I meet somebody at a networking event, I'm going to talk to you about what I do with these. I clean their phone and stick that thing on the back of their phone. They're not going to take it off. I demonstrate my brand all the time. It's a mobile marketing thing that you've got to be aware of. And there's a great setup coupon for cloth promotions on that cool swipe product. Now, AdMatch makes these great bacterial wet wipe packs. Want to get somebody's attention. How about that is a business card? I have those. You can see them on the screen. I will whip those out, give them to somebody. They never say, Don, I don't want that. It's 10 times, no, it's a thousand times better than a paper business card. If somebody gave you those wet wipes with their logo on it, what would you do with them? If you had a purse, you would put them in your purse. If you had a briefcase, I would put them in my briefcase, and I would be thankful to have them because wet wipes are needed today. That's a business card. That is a much better card than a paper card, and that's a great deal from AdMatch. I think you get 250 of those for $141. There's the AdMatch information. Phil Sharkey runs that company. I've known him a long time. He just does a great job. Here's another one of my cards. Bear with me on these cards. This is so important. Drumline up in Stuttgart, Arkansas. And here is a little trivia thing about them. They have the World Duck Calling Contest in Stuttgart. I didn't know that the last month. I'm not much into duck calling, but I think that's a pretty neat thing. Drumline makes calendars. They make all kinds of paper products, but they do a business card for me. You're seeing it. There's my Don Sanders marketing. What does your marketing say about you? My email and my cell phone number. There are some shoes. Open that up. Each sheet says Don Sanders marketing. You can email Gaddison, that's Gina Addison, at drum-line.com. She'll talk to you about these things. They're not expensive. Anytime I meet somebody using this product, I will write on that first sheet of paper what I am talking to them about and where I met them. You can get like 250 of these or 100 of them at a really good price. And look at the things you can put on the back. You can put your website, your services offered, address, photos, graphics. I'm not going to go through all of them, but you can even put testimonial marketing information. Somebody says, I don't know you. Why should I buy from you? You could turn it around and say, well, I do business with so-and-so, that's what they think about me. This is what you can do with this product to differentiate yourself. I live in Texas and Dallas. It's actually cool here today. It's only going to be 90 degrees, but I have bottled water from Alexis Springs. Much better than a business card. There are my shoes on that bottled water. I have two different versions. Keep these in my car when I go in to make a call on somebody. They're much more excited about getting a bottle of water with my logo on it then a paper card and there's a skip a column pricing coupon from alexis springs there's my don sanders marketing with my shoes that could be you with a swami genie or whatever you can get samples of alexis springs water from brian at alexissprings.com and i use testimonial marketing all the time to show that i know what i am doing I get these quotes because I've done business for so long. Some people have got to have said something good about me, but if you don't have these testimonial quotes, ask your customers. You've got to have something. I have these in an email format, which you're seeing on the screen now, with my shoes, there's my picture, and there's my card. And these are things that people have said about me. I could put those on the back of my drumline, little business card pads, 
makes me feel good about myself because when I see somebody, they, they don't know me, they'll say, well, Don, you know, how long you been in business? And say, well, I do stuff with the Nature Conservancy or I do stuff with Doctors Hospital. It makes me look credible, makes me feel good about myself, makes me strong. So show your abilities. Now, everybody always asks me about websites and search engines and this and that, and I avoid difficult search engines because there are some. I don't know how many different companies are out here offering these search products and virtual samples and order entry et cetera, et cetera, but I use Distributor Central. I have since they started maybe 15, 16 years ago, about the same time I started my website, Tom Mertz, who owns a Traynet, the magnet company, started that out of his garage. They are so good, and if you are looking for a website, a free website, or if you're looking for a search capability, you can email TTAR, Tiffany Tar at distributorcentral.com, and she'll do a demo, demo for you. Because with Distributor Central, you can have product ribbons, you can pick out your website colors, favicons, image slider options, you can do all kinds of things. And I'm showing Trainer right now, because Trainer was the uh, first supplier in this industry I sold an order for, maybe back in 1984. You can enter orders on Distributor Central for these suppliers and save $5 on your order. It's not much, but it's better than nothing. So I'm showing you how Trainer is partnered with Distributor Central. A lot of these big suppliers have done that where you can do your order entry on that. So there's a $5 uh, off coupon if you entered an order for Trainer on Distributor Central. And I'm just showing you those cool off classical coolies because I think that's a really good summer product. The thing, I, there's a lot of suppliers that make those, but I think those are neat because Trainer has them in those really bright neon colors and you can enter your order for that on Distributor Central. This is my last pitch on Distributor Central. You can go pro with them where you pay and get all kinds of services if you want to get more heavily into internet work. They offer different plans. I'm not going to bore you with those, but you can adjust product pricing. You can get Google product feed and you can do virtual sampling. So that's my pitch on Distributor Central. I just know them so well and they're so smart. And it makes me feel like I'm, I know what I'm doing when I use Distributor Central. Now, let's not be a junk seller. There are too many already. Look at those customers up there. You ruined my business. Why did you sell me that product? These product recalls in this industry are a problem, especially with electronic product recalls. Four months ago, I got this off promogram about Bluefin International is voluntarily recalling wireless phone chargers. That means they're not any good. That means you can't sell for suppliers that are selling faulty products. And I'm not talking about this being from small suppliers. There are some legacy large suppliers who have recalls. And if you want to look bad in front of your customer, you have to call them and say, hey, Power banks I sold you are not any good. So watch out. Don't be a junk seller. Sell quality products, especially in the electronic business. Here it was last month. Here's another one. I don't know what this company is here. I'm not saying anything bad about anybody, but I got this off PB News. Like, here's another one of these companies recalling these power banks. So be careful when selling electronic products. So what I do is I have a custom website from Sunjoy. Harrison Fuel on Sunjoy, he is a stand-up guy. They have never had a product recall. Doesn't mean they haven't had products with, with maybe some uh, problems with problems with products, but they always do the right thing and take care of it. So I have a website just for electronic products. It's got my logo, my shoe logo on it, it has a custom URL, so when any customer I have wants to buy electronics, I send them that link knowing that every product they look, like, look at on that Sunjoy site is not going to be one that's going to be recalled. No other supplier in the industry does this. I don't think there's another supplier who offers custom websites. There, may, there probably is, but I'm not aware of it. But if you want to know about this, you can email harrison at sunjoy.us. This is the coolest thing in the world. Protects me from those product recalls. Sunjoy, last pitch on Sunjoy, they can be trusted. I would vouch for them. You ever have a problem with them? 
So call me, I'll help you with it. They make wireless products, they make Bluetooth speakers, they have every electronic need you need, and there's a nice $20 off coupon on your next quick ship or quick ship order from Sunjoy. And remember that custom website. Now let's have a don't ever do this thing. Always ask the right questions. Never work on an order, never work on a quote, never work on anything until you ask your prospect or customer four things. How much do you want to spend? When do you need it? How many? And what is the product purpose? And I know most distributors don't ask these questions because I get emails every day through my website with people saying, I've got a customer, I've got a dry cleaner I go to. They want some, they want to buy a product to give to their customers. I'll email them back. How much do they want to spend? Oh, I didn't ask them that. How many do they need? Didn't ask them that. Well, you're wasting your time working on any order unless you know those answers. Because if the customer does not know those things, they're not a buyer, they're a looker. And I'm not looking to sell lookers, I'm looking to sell buyers. So never work on anything without knowing the answers to those questions. And there's my Oral Labs coupon again. Lavina Honeycut runs that company. They're up in Denver, which I wish I was there today because the weather's gotta be cooler there than it is here. But remember, answers to those questions. Now let's talk about effectiveness of social media. Orders are created, 84% by referrals, 32% by cold calls, 30% by networking, 27% by social media. That's not as much as the others, but you just think about it. 20 years ago, 15 years ago, whenever social media started, there were no orders created by social media. So to go from zero, to 27%, that is a huge increase. And you know, by common sense, that social media will create more and more orders going forward. So you've got to be adept, apt at it, apt at it, good at it, let's say that. And trainer graphics, there's a great little screen charge for them. Facebook bonding sales orders. These are all pictures I post on my Facebook page. And I am posting them all the time because I want my Facebook people to say, Don, where is that picture from? That's how I bond with people. That's how I sell orders on social media. There I am in my cowboy jacket with Santa. Gosh, that was back in Fort Worth a long time ago. Up to the right, I went to the ASI Fort Worth show. And I am there with that bovine steer, or female, male. I don't know, but that is a big animal. There are my dogs, the Ruber and Betty and Gracie, and there I am with Joe Fina at another ASI shows, which we do not look like we're mentally well, but I posted that on my Facebook page, and gosh, I got a lot of comments off of it. So post cool things. There's my Pepco free screen setup charge again. Now, the reason I know that relationships sell orders, those created personally, by networking or on Facebook, LinkedIn, is because of Walmart. Walmart charge changes buyers frequently because they know that long-time relationships between buyers will be ignored if you get chummy with people. So they change buyers all the time because they don't want that relationship created. My father sold Caterpillar Road Machinery for 30 years my father played golf every day and he carried a case of Jack Daniels in his trunk. And every time he went to call on a prospect, his calling card was a fifth of Jack Daniels. You talk about building relationships. My dad knew how to do it. He was selling the most expensive equipment, Caterpillar, but he outsold all the cheaper equipment companies because he built relationships. So Walmart is telling you that relationships create orders because they don't want relationship built between their buyers and vendors. Now to be a networking professional, you've got to have a plan. Anytime I go to a networking event, let's say it's a chamber event, 5.30 to 7.30, at a happy hour at a bar or restaurant, I'm gonna make 30 conversations. I'm gonna walk up to somebody, introduce myself to them, ask them what they do, tell them what I do, 
And then I'll say, well, what do you do? Well, they say, I'm a plumber. Then I say, do you own the plumbing company? No, I'm just, I just work there. Ah, I got to get away from them. Excuse myself. I'm not being rude, but I want the person that says, yes, I own the company. So I know they can buy. I say, hey, can I join you on LinkedIn? Then after I do that, I'll follow up with them in two days. I'll drop off a product and note. I'll email them and I'll text to see if I can connect with them. A lot of people will just tell you things to get rid of you, but I'm looking for the ones that didn't do that. Then I leave a voice message and revisit in two days if they weren't there when I came or they did not respond to my email and text. And then if I don't connect with them, I don't get my feelings hurt, I just move on and we start again. Another networking event comes up every time I do this. If I have 30 conversations at a networking event, I always get three or four prospects and I'll always sell one or two of them. Logo Mats is a sponsor of this webinar. And you see that mat down there at the bottom with Don Sanders marketing on it. If you have networking events at chamber functions, ask the chamber if you can give them 25 bucks to put your mat on the floor in the building where the chamber is, is having the event. Doesn't mean you have to have the booth, you can just stand on your mat. I've done that before, back 25 years ago, and I got homeowners warranties business. A guy walked up to me and said, Don, do you sell mats? You know, we buy about a thousand mats a month. Why don't you come over and talk to me? I did mats for homeowners warranty. They are not in business anymore, but I did that by standing on a mat with my name on it. Such an unusual thing. Nobody else did that. So logo mats will make a mat for your business, put it inside if you have an office, take it with you when you go on an event, and it'll get you more business. And there is a 5% off an order coupon from logo mats. I'm gonna give you their information in a little while, but I bet you never thought about that. Take your mat and unfold it and stand on it. Me doing that with my shoes, I'm gonna get some attention. You can do it too. Now get to the point. When I go and meet that person at that chamber event, I have these lens cleaning cloths from Cloth Promotions. I'll pull one of those out, unfold it. There you're seeing it at the top right. I will just say, let me have your glasses or your cell phone. I'll clean their glasses. I'll clean their cell phone with the lens cleaning cloth, fold it up, put it back in the pouch and say, how many do you want to buy? Aren't these cool? And people will say, yeah, Don, they're kind of neat. If they say, no, I buy from my brother-in-law, or yeah, you can come out and give me a price, or let me think about it. I just give them the cloth and off I go. I am looking for the person to say, hey, that's a neat thing. Just like I could do that with my wet wipes. Just like I could do that with those little drumline pads. I could do them with those 3M post-it notes. Same thing. I just ask them, how many do you think you want to buy? Just ask them right up front. You will qualify them, and if they're not a buyer, you don't have to waste time on them. Here's a quick little uh, ad for uh, Cloth Promotions where you get 50 of those, coop those cleaners for $50. They've got those cool fiber wet waves, and they've got these flex fiber uh, deals that go around your head. Those are great things to give to people, and you can get uh, information on that at Tyler R at clothpromotions.com. And there's a great call promotions coupon. And up there at the top right, those are the ones I send as holiday gifts. There's one at the top where Don Sanders is wishing you happy holidays. There's another at the right with my pictures of me and Santa at Leonard's department store. And you know what I do with those? When it comes around the end of November, I will send those folded up in holiday cards, Christmas cards. So when my customers get them, they open up the card and the cloth falls out in their lap. I do that. I send them the end of November because I want customers to go, hey, could we get some of those with our logo on it? Never fails. Every year, somebody will call and say, Doc, can you turn those for us for our holiday greeting? Just a neat little way that I do things. Here's tissue packs. This is the thing I was talking to you about with the wet mat. Ad match does these. Always remember, not forgotten. Use products to promote yourself. Neat products, not just little old cheap things, but neat things that people use. Great offer from AdMatch. I promise you I'm not gonna bug you about AdMatch again, but 
I use these products. I've got about 10 different things with our logo on them because I, I, I like the variety. It gives me a reason to call on somebody. Say, hey, I just got these tissues. I can mail them one, hand them one. It's a great way to promote yourself. Now, this is something that is brand new from GMG Pen. I've dealt with GMG since they started. They are doing combo deal offerings. And bear with me on this. It's the first time I've seen this. I think this is the future of promo sales. What GMG does is they group these products uh, they group products in groups. So in this instance, you get 2,500 pins, 1,000 leatherette gift sets, 100 journals. They all are imprinted by GMG. It's sold as a combo deal. So you could call on your vet, you could call on a dry cleaner, you could call on whoever you're calling on and say, you know, we don't have to worry about picking all this stuff out. Just give me the logo and this is what you're going to get. Right here, that was $1,520. That's $1,249 on a C. But how cool is that? This is called Combo Deals. There's about 10 of these from GMG. They just started this last month. Ben is B-I-N. That's Benjamin at ultrapins.com. You can email him and say, send me <coughs> those ideas you've got. There's a bunch of them. I just think this is so unique, and I've never seen a supplier do this before. Here are two more of them. This is like a different one with mugs. Uh, like uh, that's got mugs. That's got a spiral journal, a screen or pen, an Earl gin, an Earl gel pen, and a Nucky, which are these cool little uh, cell phone related things from GMG. And here's another one on the right with the coffee mugs and the journals and ad pens. Again, it's B-I-N at ultrapens.com. I think this makes you more efficient. And I also just think it's just the coolest thing in the world to, to do. And they just came out with this. I, I don't know what to say about it besides I just think it's neat. Now, variable data. Quickie Manufacturing is American made. They're up in Akron, Ohio. I have known them for Ever. They have variable data products. That means you have individual names or information on key tags, magnets, uh, party passes, you name it. This is going to be another product of the future. Just like if you go to the grocery store and you have your little thing swipe for your loyalty rewards, that is variable data. But Quickie can do individual names on these. So you can interview, or not interview, you can email Mike Stiller mstiller at quickie.com about variable data products. That means if you have somebody that needs 2,500 key tags with a QR code on it or a scan code, or if you need luggage tags with different names on them, just like you're seeing with those tags where it says Wyatt, Bridger, Penner, Penner this is really, really cool. So go approach your customers and say, well, I'm going to talk to you about variable data marketing. They're going to be impressed because you brought that up because they probably don't know what variable data or marketing is, and it makes you look like an expert. Now, I'm going to tell you about not selling knockoff products. We talked about selling junk. Well, there are a lot of co companies that make adhesive notes, and I know this for a fact because I help 3M, and 3M is the finest note in the industry. It is the best adhesive. It stays on. It is removable. It is repositionable. Some companies you'll call and say, can you do post-it notes? They won't correct you and say, oh, we don't have post-it notes. They'll say, oh, sure, we have those. And they sell you a knockoff note. If it doesn't say post-it note on the back of the note, it is not a 3M product. So don't sell junk, even in the paper business. Don't sell knockoff products. If you're not going to sell junk, don't make this part of your junk repertoire because only 3M makes post-it notes. These other big conglomerates that have adhesive notes, their, their adhesive is not as good. Now, right now, there's only one company that has extreme notes. And these are from 3M. They came out at the uh, ASI Orlando show, the first time I saw them. These things stick to outdoor applications, to metal and the cold. This is great for outdoor uh, companies, plumbing companies, anybody who works outside. Now, this can't be a knockoff note because this is just brand new. They will stick to 
anything. So if you have those customers, check this out. You can get samples, Stephanie Madej, it's sjmadej at 3mpromote.com. This is a totally new cool product. And I'm just showing you, again, my Post-it note offer, where those are the ones I use right now. I've had about eight or nine different ones of these six by eights, three by fours, different sizes with my shoe logo on it. You can get uh, 500 pads uh, for $50, three by four pads, and I'll print them in full color. Now, sell annuity products. Don't be a one-time wonder. Too many distributors get out and sell one-shot orders. I sell name badges. I used to sell a lot of name badges back in the day. I sell them for ID line. They are an American-made company. You sell badges, badge programs, make selling simple because once you get the order, the customer will not go away from you. They reorder over and over and over again. And ID line has a badge release program where you sell the badges up front. They keep them in stock. They create a URL and you go in and enter the names and ID line grinds the name or the title on them and mails them directly to your customer. You have to do nothing. This is as easy as selling as it can be. You can get a complete sample kit at sales at idline.com. Badge orders repeat over and over and over again. Let me tell you, get in the badge business. I used to do nearly all the badges for the hospitals in Dallas and Fort Worth, like three and 4,000 at a time. You talk about making yourself feel bad, feel good on a bad day when you didn't sell anybody, come home and they sent you an email or a, got a fax and we need to reorder our badges. ID line will help you with that. There is their uh, free setup charge and they'll send you that sample kit. Now I've done a lot of journals and journals and calendars. If you're not selling calendars, start showing them today. Drumline who makes the little paper uh, business card, not let's not say business card, I shouldn't say that, business books. Gina Addison will send you a complete drumline uh, sample kit, either on their diaries or on their calendar. You start showing these to your customers. Now, 13 years in a row, I have sold journals to Parkwood Retirement Company Community, where my ex-mother-in-law used to live, and I've sold them for 15 years in a row to a plumbing company I deal with calendars and they just repeat year after year after year. So sell annuity products. Here's the calendar work offer that I'm showing you. Here's the free plate charge for a uh, drum line. They're a five-star supplier and there's where you can order your 2020 calendar sales kit, which has a stand-up counter sign. If you, if you have a uh, Minuteman press location or anything like that, you can uh, put this in your storefront or you can put it in your showroom if you need that, but a uh, calendar, it, they will just sell again and again and again. And I do a lot of spec samples. Sunjoy, who we've talked about every, every two or three weeks, I send out an offer where if you will uh, send them your shipper number and um, the logo of a customer, they will do a custom spec sample for you. You cannot believe the closing rate on these things. I'm telling you about 25% of these spec samples are turned into orders. They've done them on all kinds of products. So if you need a custom sample, it's samples at sunjoy.us and there is a quick ship coupon. But spec samples sell not only in power banks, but also in mats. The reason I know is here's Parkwood where my ex-mother-in-law lived. They needed mats for uh, residents to steady walkers and their canes when they walk in the front door and get on the elevator. They did not know which ones they wanted to buy because they're different uh, thicknesses of these mats. Super spray, did your print water off. And so I did uh, virtuals of all the different uh, samples that Logo Mats does. I had two actual samples of different, of the different types, but I didn't have to have all eight. I just had however many they are, I just had two. But then the virtuals made the sell. So you can go on Logomats now, logomatsllc.com, and create your own virtuals. It's a really, really cool thing. Or if you want a sample, uh, you can contact uh, Logomats. Now, do not lose customers. Are you this person who stays awake all night? Do you know how people lose customers? 
Well, they lose customers because they don't sell for suppliers like Logo Mass, or they don't sell real post-it notes. They lose customers because they buy from bad suppliers. I only buy from strong suppliers. And I'm gonna give you an example. It's Harvey Mackler at Jim Pyre is a dear friend of mine. You talk about somebody who tries and will help you make a sale, he will. And right there are what they say about, or what he says about Jim Pyre. On time delivery, they have a live voice, you don't have an automatic system. He tells you everything you need to know about your product, so use strong suppliers. There's a great rebate coupon from Jim Pyre, or you can email harvey at jimpire.com. He will send you samples of any product you would like to have, including lapel pins. Lapel pins are one of the hardest product lines for customer distributors to sell because they don't know the difference. There are, I believe, 10 selections on the screen. You need to know the difference in these selections when you call on your customer. Here's another deal on selling on price. If you got an order, somebody says, oh, I want to buy some lapel pins, and you say, well, I'm a dollar and a quarter. Well, Ernie down the street's 90 cents. You can say, well, is he doing screen printed, etched enamel, or die stroke iron enamel? 90% of the chance they're gonna say, well, I don't know, we just need some lapel pins. Well, if you say, here's the differences in them, take the kit out there that Harvey will show you, will provide you, and you say, well, you know what? I'm a dollar and a quarter and they're 90 cents because they're screen printed and I'm selling you die struck enamel. Your customers will be impressed. I'm not selling you on these suppliers, I want you to buy from them, and it helps me. I'm being honest with you. Don't lie about it. But I'm telling you, if you know the differences in these things, these products, you can outsell other people. Because on lapel pins, people don't know the differences. That rush orders equal big profits. Amazon has done you the biggest favor in the world. Everybody wants something now. I've gotten to where I order stuff online. I want it that day or the next day. It's the same in the promotional products business. Learn how to handle rush orders. The reason, you, the way you do that is you deal with Harvey Mackler at Jim Pyre, Drumline, Paul Promotions. Have a relationship with them. Pay your bills. When you need a rush order, they'll turn it for you. Let Amazon create business for you, just like they have for themselves. I make 60% on my rush orders. I mark the heck of them up on them because I am taking a chance, I am delivering, and you learn how to do rush orders. Now, social media, I want you to start posting on social media. Stories create sales. They call these case studies, I call them stories. You can post these on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. Burlacamp, there's my great Burlacamp coupon. Here's a case study. Burlacamp makes motorcycle products. Motorcycle kick pad stands and license plate frames. Here is a true story about how a motorcycle rally every year wanted to increase business, more riders year after year. So they gave every one of their biker attendees a kick pad stand and license plate frames. And everybody loved them so much that the pull through talk about saying, hey, had a great, great time at that ride increase their attendance 20% the next year, and I believe another 25% the next year. Post these kind of things on your Facebook, your Instagram, telling your customers, cycle-related people, what success people had with those products. Now you can email sales at burlacamp.com and they'll send you whatever sample you want. Here's one from Aura Labs, are the, these hand, hand Hand sanitizer suppliers are a dime a dozen, making this foreign knockoff stuff. Remember, I'm talking to you about selling phony products, make products, oral labs. Everything is made in America. There is no animal testing. They do the right thing. Their lip balm, their lotion, everything is healthy and done right. A company wanting to institute a healthcare program bought two different types of these sanitizers put a coupon for a free gym visit on one, a discount at a vegan restaurant on the other, to introduce employees to use those services. Want to save some money on the vegan restaurant? Want to go to the gym? Just take one of those hand sanitizers with you and that will happen. 
That was so effective that 85% of employees joined the program. Put this stuff out on your social media, these type of stories. Here's Aura Labs. You can, enter, you, you can email wecare at auralabs.com. They will send you samples. Lavina Hanukkah is a dear friend of mine. This is the type of information that you post and tell your customers that show that you know what you're doing. Just like Matt's with, lo with logo mats, let social media friends know. Just like on Matt's, they're talking about how labor costs to remove dirt from a building. I guarantee your customers don't know that. They don't know how healthy mats make an environment. You start telling them that, they will pay attention to you. Now, LinkedIn is perfect for case studies because you need to use headlines, a brief summary, you make it routine, that means all the time, you connect with people at once when you meet them, leverage endorsements, tell people about what you've done, like I showed you on the testimonial, testimonial marketing, never give up, use those case studies and tell people about them. There's that great ad match free setup coupon. Here's another one of the logo mats. This is a mat that helps you, an anti-fatigue mat right there, like barbers, anybody who stands on their feet can buy these. And if you want a, lo a sample kit from uh, Logo Mats, you can just fill out that form right there and they'll send you a catalog and small samples of mats, like foot, mat a foot, foot wide mats, and I made several sales for them. Now I want you to listen, please listen to me about bottled water. Knowledge creates orders, not cheaper prices. Bottled water is one of the most misunderstood product lines in this industry. I know because people lose orders all the time on bottled water sales. Which bottle has the best water? Well, one of those suppliers, Alexis Springs, their water is going into those spring houses, then into those stainless steel tank tanks and into that, that, uh, that big building in Mount Ida, Arkansas. 46% of the bottled water soup sold in this industry was sewer water or came from a water treatment plant. That is the truth. You look at those labels on bottled water, if it says it comes from a municipal water source, that means it was nasty water that has been treated. It won't kill you, but it doesn't taste worth a darn. Alexa Springs is pure spring water. Do you know the difference between purified and spring water? You've got to know that if you're gonna sell water, you've got to know that because it protects you against these cheap price sellers. If somebody's selling cheaper water, they'll go, oh, wow. I didn't know the water was purified. Show them what that label says on the back. They'll admire you for knowing the difference. You've got to know the difference on products, especially with bottled water. There's a difference in purified water and spring water. And there's a skip a column coupon pricing from Alexis Springs. I cannot tell you what a wonderful supplier that is. And you know what they don't do? They don't put your customers in auctions. If you buy water from some of these wholesale water places that send out these ads about, we do it all, we do this, we do that. Do you know that they auction off your orders? They auction off the bottle, the water, the label, the shipping to the cheapest buyer they, or the cheapest seller they can you don't have the order coming from one supplier. It is coming from all different places and ends up at one place, but don't put your customers in water auctions. Alexis Springs handles the whole thing and sells you water that was not sewer water. You can get spring water samples, Brian at alexissprings.com. Don't be fooled by this. Email Brian and get some samples of their water. Don't let these phony water sellers beat you that are auctioning off your orders or selling you sewer water. Rental mats are expensive. If you want to sell mats, do you know that rental mats are about 40 or $50 a month? Well, I didn't know that until three or four years ago. Here's another posting thing for Facebook, LinkedIn. Tell your customers when you go call on them, they say, oh, we're renting our mats. How much? Oh, $40 a mats, $40 a month. They come and clean them, they change them out. Well, they have to change them out because the mats are cheap. Well, you can sell a logo mat for $300 and that mat will last three or four years. So don't lose mats to rental companies. Sell them mats. Number one repeat orders are bottled water, calendars, name badges, and writing instruments. There's a great GMG 
coupon. Bottled water, we were talking about it. I promise you, this is the last pitch on bottled water. Here's the pricing sheet from Alexis Springs. They ship from seven locations. They have about eight, six or eight different types of bottles. They're making their own bottles up there in Mount Ida right now. And they're the only company in the industry that makes their own bottles, makes everything in one location. You can get it. Samples from Brian at alexissprings.com or you can visit alexissprings.com. Don't be fooled. Now, don't be beaten by web sellers. Web sellers can be liars. If you run up in a situation where somebody says, well, I can get it cheaper online, well, maybe you can, but a lot of these online sellers are dishonest. They have broken mug handles, wrong imprint colors, quantity short. I'm not gonna go through all of these, but web sellers can be liars just like that guy with that nose. Now, the way I handle them is I give people statistics, just like the case studies. Like with mats, I'll say, well, somebody wants to buy a mat. I'll say, do you know that 64% of shoppers look at what is on the ground when they come in a restaurant or a business? People go, oh, I didn't think about that, Don. Well, that's the way I sell mats, by scaring the people away with statistics. M. Wadsworth at LogoMatsLLC.com will send you a sample. Create a sense of urgency. That means sell Goff two times a month. Sell Earth Day one time a month. Sell holiday gifts at a certain time. Always be after your customers to create a sense of urgency for products or items needed at a certain time of year. So if you need golf samples, Harvey at jimpire.com. Create a sense of urgency. Many distributors don't do that. Do business where you do business. Do you sell the restaurants, bars, your vet, your dry cleaner? People don't do this. Everywhere I go, I talk to people that I give money to and try and give them, get them to give me money back. You go in a bar, you're in there, you go in there and spend 50 or $60 on beer, ask the manager if they need to have some mats for the counter or do they need mats for the floor? I do this with all kinds of products. Anywhere I go, I spend money. Pizza place, it comes by here and delivers. I went up and called on them and sold them some little stuff some plastic cups they needed. Do business with people you do business. Grand Bank is where I bank. I sold them those mats right up there. They were loaning me money or I was paying them money that they were on a mat, mat rental program. I said, well, you know what? I can sell you these mats in the long run, they're cheaper. I sold them to Grand Bank. There they are. But the cool thing about logo mats is they put my name on the back of them. You turn them over, it says Don Sanders Marketing. And I actually got an order because somebody turned that mat over and called me and said, did you do those mats for Grand Bank? Sell things to people you do business with. M. Wadsworth at LogomatsLLC.com. There's my name on the back again. Here's our bottled water again. I'm telling you, right there on that label, it says purified water by reverse osmosis and oxygenated for taste and purity. That means that was sewer water. Grand Bank was giving sewer water to their customers until I got up there. Their new label says, we cherish your health, so the water included is the finest quality. Which bottle would you rather get? I want the better water. Makes that customer think they appreciate my business. Now we're almost through with the webinar. Please hang with me. Sell your schools. Do you have children, grandchildren? Get up there right now and start talking to the PTA chairman, uh, head of the band, uh, somebody who buys uniforms, their schools are going to need to raise money. Here I am sitting at a little TCU football game. Those horn Frogs were not good last year, but they were seven and six. But I sell TCU. Do you sell the college you go to? Do you sell the school that your children go to? Well, the way you do that is you sell them spirit items and Pepco has those. These are mailing sheets that Pepco does for me with my logo on them. For different products that are suitable for PTA, band, etc. Here's the Pepco catalog cover. Here's home palm mint. Pepco it can do these custom flyers for you. See Victorian at pepcopalms.com. Now direct mail spreads products. I group, I get my customers, I group them in prospects, not in prospects, in different lists, and I mail them religiously. Mail on a Monday, mail the next Monday, mail the next Monday, mail the next Monday, call and follow up. 
There's this customer of mine, Macho Storage, right there. That's an actual package that I'm sending them of something that I mailed them. You can do self promo mailers at Jimpire. Harvey's got these really cool little mailing pieces that you can mail. Like here's one for uh, Earth Day down at the bottom. Here's a bookmark. Here's one for the holidays. These are self mailers that can mail for one ounce. Jimpire has these. Harvey can help you with them and start sending these to your customers. Don't be cheap and say, I don't have the money to do this. If you don't have the money, you don't need to be doing this. You cannot sell unless you invest. Here's a logo mats mailer. Miles and logo mats, same thing. I'm not gonna go on, I've talked about logo mats too much. Mail entire marketing campaigns. Here's those combo deals from, from GMG. You can get these from Ben, B-I-N, at ultrapins.com. They will send you these sheets. You can mail them to your customers, drop them off with a note. This is so cool. Nearly all the selling is done for you. Here's another mailer program on custom cards that come from Cloth Promotions where you get a cool swipe attached. You can send your list to Cloth Promotions. They will do the mailing. The thing shows up in your customer's mailbox. All you had to do was pay Cloth Promotions to do this, send them your logo and your customers, and they'll do the whole thing for you. Jared at clothpromotions.com. Uh, referrals, you must be doing 25% of your business in referrals. You've got to have one in four orders sold that comes from referral. You get that by doing the things on the screen right there every day provide great service, always praise, get personal, contact frequently, provide ideas, and there's Quickie, an American-made supplier. Now, we're gonna conclude here with U.S. to raise tariffs on $200 billion worth of, 200 billion worth of Chinese goods. This work right here where it says important notice, I read this on, on a website, these suppliers cannot even guarantee their pricing because of all the imports, Stop buying for these big imports. Buy from American-made companies. Quickie, mstiller at quickie.com. I'll finish quickly here. They are American-made. No tariff supplier is Burlicamp. I talked about Burlicamp before on the motorcycle uh, products. There's Burlicamp down through the ages. I bet you don't know how, how this is an old line supplier. Down through the ages from the early 50s at the top left, down to today, right there is Burlicamp, made in Ohio. Here are old Burlicamp catalogs going back to the 1970s, 1981. This is a supplier with substance, an American-made supplier. Made in Minnesota, that is ID line. There's my screen charge for ID line on the name badges. Made in Colorado, there is Aura Labs. Buy from these suppliers. They don't change prices on you like these big import suppliers do. We care at auralabs.com for those samples. I cannot stress on you. The worst thing in the world you can do is call your customer and have to say, I can't give you the price because that's an import product. Pepco things are made here in Texas. They have a great deal on the stadium cups right now. 39 and 38 cents on an R on those two type of cups. See Victorian at pepcopalms.com. American made is the way. I made in Indiana. I placed my first order with Trainer Graphics. Jamie H at trainergraphics.com is who to get a hold of for American made beverage products. And that talking napkin on the right there, if you're selling weddings or parties, you can imprint on the inside of those napkins and you can have complete event data there. How cool is that? Now, I have done a book called How to Sell Promotional Products. It's a little different than this webinar. It's got a lot of the same information. If you would like to have a free sample of a chapter of that book, I promise you it will help you. And if you'd like to have a recording of this webinar, Harvey Mackler at Jimpire, who I've talked wonderfully about, will send that to you. He helps me with this. There's a Jimpire coupon. So if you will email me after the webinar is over, I will send you the replay and the book chapter. Again, I am sorry for our foul up on the webinar starting off. 
I am going to leave this up on the screen for a bit. You can email me for the replay and book chapter, don at sellpromoproducts.com. And there are the email addresses from the some of, most of the suppliers I talked about, from the outdoor mat samples all the way down to the cup and napkin samples from Trainer. There they all are. If you'll email those suppliers after the webinar, if you're interested, and say, Sanders talked about your products, we would like to have these items, they will be sent to you at no charge and with a happy attitude. I like to deal with happy suppliers. You want those spring water samples, Brian at AlexisSprings.com. That is one that I would really pay attention to because you're gonna lose bottled water orders and at least you'll be able to have a comeback to say, well, at least my water was not sewer water. There they all are. And I just want to thank you so much for listening. I've been too long today. And I hope you have a great 4th of July. And if I can ever help you, just let me know. Thanks.